You don't see those every day. A 40 minute 1v1. But today, however, is one of those days you do see one. Between in the north, in the red, it is Stuart 98 with Rovers. Versus in the blue, we've got Mfbots for King Lunchbox. And this is on a fault line, where we do have a little bit of sneaky water. So, using Mfbots here is quite, quite effective. You can sneak in on the sides over there, like in the back. Or even on like, these in these beaches. Also, in the middle over here, you do have relatively deep water. It's like minus 20 elevation. So you can get some pretty good re regen going with buoys or docks in those areas. This though, already not being annoying, just, well, damaging a conch, it will not destroy it, but it's damaging it. And 130 burst, that's going to be, well, maybe a little bit important, but dots are only 120 HP each. Which means that those are really quite vulnerable to ducks. One shot and they're dead. Also, ducks have a little bit, not that much, but still like 5 almost, 16 elmo of AoE range. Meaning that if you have a ball of dots, yeah, ducks can still do a wonderful job. Scorchers, a little bit of a different story of course, 480 HP. And quite a lot faster than ducks. But also quite a lot more expensive. 130 versus 80 metal. We line up, but I guess, sure. Bursting down a Scorcher, just like that, with four dots. And all of a sudden, yeah, I mean, that insane 300 DPS up close from the Scorcher doesn't really do a whole lot. For now, though, because of, well, how little King Lunchbox has been harassing Stuart, they are ahead in Eco, a little bit. Mainly in energy in this case. Well, energy is what's keeping King Lunchbox back. Uh, whereas that's not really happening for Stuart right now. In the meantime, they're just both, well, getting up a couple of raiders, expanding and all that. Really passive by King Lunchbox, I'd say. On the other hand, of course, if you do want to move in here, I mean, it is all defended quite well with, like, loaders over here, loaders there, on the hills... Loaders there, double loaders already here, which is kind of strange, honestly. Yeah, double loaders on a, in a place where they don't have easy access. I find a bit weird. Oh well. Over here, Stuart once again trying to harass a little bit. But to uh, King Lunchbox just taking their duck there and, of course, driving them away. King Lunchbox also getting up a couple of loaders, also on these, well, narrow choke points. And especially for, uh, well, vehicles, they are actually slowed down quite a bit on those hills. Not insignificant, whereas, well, for a bot player, that is a little bit less. Surprisingly, small difference, though. Eh, yeah, a little bit of a difference. Little bit of a difference. Not too much. Anyways, King, Lun King Lunchbox, 27 eco. Stuart's also at 27. Quite even. Double loaders though. That's almost 300 DPS. And with those raiders close by and the commander as well. Yeah, these ducks really can't do a whole lot there. Expansion on this side. Just getting a little bit of the reclaim. Something Stuart is also doing. However, not yet. They're first going to construct a whole bunch. No, they're first going to construct this single solar panel, then reclaim, and then get more solar into a geothermal. Okay, sure. Uh, all the way around. Geothermal into more solar. Ripper, only 1,020 HP. That means it can actually be burst down by these ducks quite easily, but of course, a lot of AoE on the Ripper, so boom, one, not dead yet, that's already two ducks down, 50% HP on that Ripper. It's also quite fast, even though it is a riot, because well, yeah, it's a vehicle, it's a rover, rovers are fast. So yeah, 
technically, if they were in range, the ducks could have burst down the ripper, but too bad, so sad, it's not happening today. 300% attrition by Stuart. Who is also, no, this is actually King Lang's box, is also using the new feature where engineers can actually construct a unit from the factory. They've decided to go for a buoy. A uh, buoy, actually a very good choice against the Ripper. Since it's skirmisher, of course, but it's not completed, so it's not a whole... Well, it's not that effective right now. Since it is actually just dead weight. Now it's up, so now it would be able to engage the Ripper. But it's not in range. Oh well, too bad. Over here, well, Limpet. Maybe lucky that it didn't explode yet. But of course, is he quite a... Quite an easy bomb to use because it doesn't hit your own units. Quite fast as well, good AoE, so it does slow down the Ripper. Still, I mean, Ripper, yes, it slowed down, but it still takes down another three ducks. Was probably no reason for that to happen. If the ducks were just spread out a little bit better, it might have taken down one, two, but not three. So, Stuart is still at 240% attrition, who's already got a different factory, that's right. Thanks for Blitz. Sure, I mean it's high HP, but also expensive as a raider. Is the matchup between Duck and Scorcher bad enough that you need Blitz? I don't think so, right? No. I mean, they are burst down a little bit. Well, a lot less easily than uh, Scorchers, but oh well, sure. Already is 5 on the field, 6 one is almost up. And over here, no defenses, so Scorcher is actually able to take down one Metal Extractor already. It's faster than the Ducks, so it will take down this Metal Extractor as well. It might even get out, eh, unlikely I'd say, maybe. No. Okay. So, still taking down two maxes. Eh, worth it. Yeah, I mean, 260 versus 250, so technically not worth it, but because you disrupt the eco, I'd say it is slightly better for King Lunch, uh, for Stuart. But, I mean, it's, it's very close. In the meantime, I will ask you, however, to subscribe to the channel because we are still trying to get to a thousand. We've passed 900 recently. Uh, but of course, next up is a thousand. Would be nice to hit that at some point. Ripper is moving into a loader turret, which is a weird choice. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it baited the ducks, but it didn't get two shots off, so it didn't kill any of them. Weird, 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 weird. Glass turrets, sure. Uh, okay. And please link. Yeah, that would be good. I do conch as well, so not amazing in general. Over here, Stuart is still making it and will link it afterwards. All of the ducks in the middle. Ducks in the line, sure thing, but uh, yeah. Not anywhere engaging. Not engaging anywhere. To it, disrupting eco over here, or at least I would assume. Yep, there they go. Would be able to push this as well, take down conch, buoy, dark, all that. So, yeah, actually a very effective raid. Five, yeah, thousand versus 340. Now, 1100, 340, sure. And they're not dead yet. Over here, though, I mean, look at that. Gosh, are not armored up in range of the ducks. And Stardust, will you do anything or will you be destroyed before actually going up? It will be close, but too bad. Commander is dead. Too bad. Very sad. Was to it. Not for King Lunchbox. There it goes. Took a bit longer than expected, but still. Could just win if he doesn't pass by the pork. Uh, I mean, it just destroyed the pork. That works too, right? However, eh, I mean, yeah, it is worth it. Well, like, a little over a thousand, fifteen hundred. 
But a very amazing fight though. And already being driven away by just a couple of fences and two blitz. Would allow Stuart to get 1.8k reclaim. That's a lot. A mystery going after the commander, going after the starters and all that. No units for King Lunchbox going that way, even though, of course, a mystery is definitely exposed. But Stuart is rectifying that, it seems, with a couple of units. All right. Over here. Let's uh, oh, slow down a little bit, but still, buoys are not going to take them down yet. 2v1, fences do take down the buoy, alright. Limpet, weird choice, I mean, it's soaking damage, I guess that works. 20 HP, I mean, it doesn't really matter against Blitz. Whether you have 20 or like 100. Yep, indeed. If you had 190, then it would have mattered, but not at 20. And three more Blitz, driving away this many ducks, really? I mean, it is with double Lotus as well, but still. Seems quite passive. I mean, they are able to get more value here to get that. So it's probably a good idea. Though it does still leave this exposed and, well, relatively easy to reclaim for Stuart. Commander, soon to be under fire as well. Not yet by the emissary, which is going after the buoy. But still, I mean, blitz there, blitz there. Now the emissary is firing at it. And the mystery is actually quite strong. Relatively easy to dodge, but the commander is just not really that fast. So it is not dodging. So it could easily even go down. It shouldn't. If King Lunchbox is paying attention to it. But otherwise it will go down. Two blitz. Also, uh, like, how much storm did they have? 500, so not that much. Still, a thousand. So that's in like three shots. Uh, the commander will be permanent stunned. No, yeah, seems like the blitz are not going after the commander, so it will not get permanent stunned. All right, over here though, oh, could be an awful fight for King Lunchbox. Ogre with amazing AOE, and I see a big ball, like a more clumped up ball you can just not get, uh, of ducks. Yeah, that could be really, really bad. Over here, just a blitz, moving forwards, alright. Not moving, so... I guess the buoys are taking it down slowly. And Ogre retreating, alright. Geo's being morphed and will be linked up. Okay. Now the blitz are moving forwards, though... Not going after... Yeah, uh, maybe going after the commander. Not really going after it, just attack moves here. Now they do. But it is probably too late, because one blitz is gone, the other one will soon follow, or no, just barely not. Still, with three more blitz coming in, that commander is probably dead, unless it is able to retreat into the water just in time. Will be very close, but no, it does not. So, goodbye, commander. Geothermal, just barely out of range for the blitz. Not so for the mystery. It probably doesn't have vision though, so you would need to manually shoot at it. And they are indeed doing that, which means say goodbye to 100 energy eco. While you're already kind of struggling with your energy eco. Yeah. A little bit surprised about that, I think. Because you don't really have anything else that like costs energy, right? No? No. Okay, sure. You're not really struggling, though. I mean, you do have more than enough to keep up with your metal, so not struggling. And, oh! 850 HP, but it will stay up. Just in time. Taking down the emissary. Good job. Here, though. Couple more rovers, or like riots. Eh. Grizzly should be able to hold them off, but still, three, four, five more maxes. Soon to go down. And over here, yeah, that's a scary ball of amphibots, but, well, yeah, it's not really moving. And as fine is also pointing out, yeah, you could definitely get in there with 
this many units. Taking down all of that eco would be very nice because you are definitely behind right now. Overdrive is behind, though it really shouldn't be, right? Yeah, no, it's not that far behind. Just missing out on all of those maxes, all of these maxes. That is definitely a big issue. All of them, 2.0. Yep, all of them. But that means if missing out on like 3, 5, 6, 7, another 5 on this side or so. Take maxes, yeah. Like 13 maxes. That's a lot. You're also, well, still letting your enemy reclaim all of this. 500 still in that commander over there. And 2.6 that you are not really getting. I mean, Conch is going to construct the... Uh, what's happening? Oh, uh, that's fine, yeah. Uh, going to construct the metal extractors. But you don't really reclaim a whole lot. Yeah. That's not amazing. Over here, a uh, big old ball fight. A ball of what This is a ball of, like, rover plus tank. That doesn't seem to be going too well for the Amphibot player. Yeah. Value, yep, that's very good for Stuart. 3100 versus 2000. Yep, the wrong one, this one. Minotaur's still quite healthy. One Ogre, still very healthy as well. Which means that, yeah, you're drifting away, driven away, and that means, uh, once again, more reclaim. That's right. How much over there? Yep, 1300 reclaim, just in that small area. That will all be for Stuart. Conch that was creating these maxes has been destroyed. Stuart can't really believe it, but these maxes have not even been replenished. Also, Ogre. Click it. Do the thing. Oh. Well, guess the Ogres don't even need to do it. Fences are already doing it for you. So, yeah. Advanced Geo will soon go down. Oops. Because against Double Ogre, I don't see it surviving this time. And indeed, it does not. That's a big blow, because now you've only got 70 energy. Losing over half of your energy, just like that. You were already behind in Metal Eco. Yeah, that's going to hurt, but you still have four, yeah, four, five uh, Grizzlies on the field. You can take down the enemy Geothermal. It's not upgraded, so it's not worth as much. Still, though, would be good to take that down. With double Grizzly over here, you would be able to take down these units, most likely. But on this side, oh no, there it is. The Air Switch, the Y... The Odin, moving forwards, will take down the factory. Is that the most worth it? Well, in this case, it would be if the Grizzly is taken down with it. But will the Grizzly go down? That is the main question right now, I'd say. But no, it does not. So in that case, it's not that worth it. Yeah, enough build power to reclaim it. Oh, that would be funny. Oh, well. I mean, it does not go down, so it's... Definitely worth it, taking down 700 for no cost. And it does also disrupt your enemy, because now they have to build another factory. A little bit lucky they've got a conch nearby, I'd say. But still, they've got to redo their build queue and all that. Doesn't seem like they will be disrupted too much, though. Oh, it... no, maybe. No build queue yet, that means it's all idle, that means, uh-oh, Exodus! There they go. Couple of nice little anglers. Amazing entire. Which would work quite well against Liko. What? You're not Envbots! What kind of Envbots are these? Cyclops, Ogre, Minotaur are running through the water. You're not being healed up. Still, King, King Lunchbox has, once again, gotten these maxes up. Secured it with energy pylons, or at least, like, added it to the overdrive grid with energy pylons. Not going to matter too much. I mean, 0.5 each. Because they just don't have the energy anymore. 
But on this side, they are now getting the GFL. Are you? No, you're not. Oh, that's too bad. Why not? You know your enemy likes to hit it. Why didn't, didn't you just put it in a hole? I mean, Stuart didn't do that either. But yeah, you haven't really been there yet. Oh, Liko going down. Whee! Going up again. Right. King Lunchbox moved all the way into that own base. Odin will be scouting for a geothermal. We'll find out it is under construction. And we'll move back around. What's that large range on the Odin, though? That's not their... Uh... What? I don't know. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, because that's not the throwdown of the shields. That's not their, like... Uh... Well, massive damage dealing attack. Not sure. And there come more Grizzlies. I mean, that's a lot of alpha damage as well. Just in the Grizzlies over here, 7,500. Scallops have been buffed as well, so would be able to deal quite a bit of damage themselves with their shotguns. Who is to slow down? Yep, Cyclops is not going to live that. Minotaur isn't either, and that means that, well, good fight for one. But also, reclaim, more reclaim on the field. Neither team is really getting it. It's 6,000 reclaim. 2,000 over here, you're not getting it. 6,000 over here, Stuart is not getting it. Uh, a little bit weird. Why don't you just continue to attack? Good question. I believe King Lunchbox is just a very like hesitant person. They don't really go on the offensive a whole lot. At least that's what I think, I believe, from fighting them. And Odin, once again, coming in. Once again, too late, because the Grizzly is already up. And, yeah, sure, the factory will once again go down. But they've got a conch nearby. They will be able to build another factory, and they should not exceed us. Uh, yeah. They really just shouldn't. Over here, though, King Lunchbox, once again, moving forwards with all of that... Alpha damage. 7,500 still. There is not a whole lot in defense over here. Odin heavily damaged. There is like a little bit of uh, an assault force over here. So to soak damage, but not really to deal it out. And Cyclops heavily damaged already. Only 3,000 HP. Yet you're retreating as if you're almost dead. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's a very good idea. You can push forwards, though, yeah, this is probably why you go back. And Cloakbats? Cloakish. Huh. Specifically for Glaives. Also, like, how is your energy uh, eco only 26? That seems like too little. I don't know. What? How? Oh. I guess because these are all cut off? I mean, I guess so. Still feels like too little eco for them, right? Okay, now that it's all up to 60 again. 30 of that is reclaim, but still. Huh. Not really sure. Still, I don't really understand the cloak butcher witch. For one, you had a lot of eco, so pumping that into a single factory is not that good, generally, because of the small amount of idle time. Uh between uh, construction of two different units. And, oh, no death explosion. Oh, Dead factory, though. Uh, but also, yeah, white glaives. I don't get it. I really don't. I don't see the point of getting glaives. I mean, riots over here, riots over there, riots there, riots everywhere. Yet 20k army, cloakbots are not that vulnerable to leakos. But with all of those uh, bursting uh, anglers, like almost 2,000 right here, a Lico shouldn't really do a whole lot. And you're going into Amphibots this time around. Okay, sure. 15 Eco, though. Stuart, how is this going to last for another, like, 15 to 20 minutes? I don't get it. 
You should be able to just walk in here, destroy the fusion, destroy the base, and you're done, right? I mean, Cyclops, sure, only 4000 HP, but there are no defenses, so that is still going to be more than enough. How is King Lunchbox going to survive this? I guess with almost 20k army. But at the same time, like 5500 army over here as well. <clears throat> yes, it is very expensive, this, and it will do a lot of damage. Will it be enough to keep you in the game? I don't think so, right? What do you have over here? You've got Grizzly, Bowie... So, yeah, just... Good number of scorches, good number of dots, and you should be able to clean this up. And now going after the geothermal rather than the base, which means that it, you're trapped. You're actually just going to corner yourself, because you will not escape that plat this platform. Uh, unless you kill all of the army, of course. And I mean, you will kill all of the army. I mean, you had almost four th times as much army. But over here, well, Stuart is building up again. Going into Cloakbots themselves this time. Cyclops still forwards. And yeah, King Lunchbox not doing anything. No eco. Four eco to ten. Yeah, that's absolutely zero. Now they've got eco. Four. Two base and like two from this singular metal extractor. Conch is soon dead. Will this, these grizzlies be enough? I don't think so, right? I mean, it's 12,000 value versus 2,600, so it should be enough. Yeah, it should be. It really should be. Even though raiders definitely cleaned this entire ball up, 2,600 metal worth should not be enough to do that. Fusion going down, I also taking down a couple of caretakers, I'm pretty sure. Factory 1 is gone. And into the water they go. Healing up, and that is probably going to be why this is going to last so much longer. Just because it's going to be dragged out for, well, no reason. Offer platform at 2 eco. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, although I'm kinda not. I'm going to speed it up, because as long as this army is in the water, I don't think this is really going to be all that fun. So let's go up to 3 times speed, and once it's out of the water, we will continue on, right? Sure. There we go. It is out of the water, we'll speed it up at 2 times, because there they go again. Lico bombing it. Alright, but they're just sitting there. In a couple of seconds, Stuart will have the entire map locked down. I hope. I mean, they're not really doing that, so... Oh well. With a lot of reclaim. Which King Lunchbox is technically trying to get. Still though, there... Come the Ravens, question mark. There they come. Maybe. Not really. Yep, there they come. Alright, and... Goodbye to your hover platform, right? I mean, you're not taking it down. You know where it is. You can see it. <sighs> Come on now. I mean, your ducks will clean it up otherwise. And then it truly is just these grizzlies and two little skirmishes. Once again, a big ball of units, I guess, technically, maybe, a little bit, not really, sure. No more con, GG. I mean, yeah. Geothermal is still alive, even. If you can believe that. Couple of ravens. 4,800 burst damage. They don't have a real... They don't really have a... Uh, air pad right now. I mean, they do have one, but not that many. So, they will be able to burst down, like, the damaged grizzly. But not a whole lot else. There come the ducks. Alright. Not a whole lot of DPS on those, though, so they will have to, like, try and burst down a couple of Grizzlies. And Gannett's time? 
Is it Gnetthorn? No, it's tr Trident? Trident? Why Trident? What? Are you stupid? What? Huh? Why Trident? Um... Okay... I'm going to speed it up even more, actually. Wait, this is... No, not your last constructor. This game is so stupid. Yeah, I mean, right now it definitely is. Mason is still alive, Conch is still alive. It's still difficult to take this down, but uh, if you can... Uh, building a factory is just going to take too long. But yeah, going for fleas, I think. Did I kill your commander at some point? Yes. Yes, you did. Uh, if you are able to get a, a spider factory, you will be able to construct a whole bunch of fleas. Five X. How is King Lunchbox not just? Uh, I mean, I guess it makes sense you're going here because that's the place you've been to like quite a while ago. There they come, Gnats. Those make sense. Oh, yep. No, oh, you found it. Right. Uh, did no, didn't actually because this one is still alive. Right. Uh, yeah. There they come. Fleas. Good DPS on those. 40 each. And if you spread them out, only one, maybe two, go down in a single grizzly burst. The other option would be puppies. <sighs> also, yeah, give him more time. Yeah, because now you're letting him build up. He's actually at 24 eco once again. Uh, and they're just going to be scouting your grizzlies to make sure you don't take down everything. Moving to the north already, going to... Would be wise to construct a factory there already, I would say, right? Maybe. Stupid game, but I don't get how you win it. Right, that makes sense. I would actually, in this position, make a second factory. Already. But yeah, okay, look at look at the DPS on these. Like 80? That makes it like 4,000 DPS? Wait, it, what? Yep, oh, slow it down. Because it seems like two grizzlies have already gone down over here recently. That means that these 73 fleas will do it. The other option, of course, would have been puppies because of look at that reclaim. Over 20k reclaim would be amazing for puppies as well. And since those are, like, super cheap as well, uh, they would be very nice against Grizzlies, just like Fleas. Of course, not being line moved, those Fleas, so a lot of them went down in a single shot. But now, two Grizzlies stunned, that makes three, and that means GG, Stuart takes it. Right? There they go. GG. This truly was a weird match after the death of King Lunchbox's base. Up to that point though, it was actually a pretty decent match, all things considered. Not amazing, but still quite fun.